Well, that was fast, wasn't it? That was quick. And apparently not only was it very fast and quick, Prince Harry's visit to see his cancer-stricken father, King Charles, um, but it was also, apparently, apparently, it was awkward, weird, and has left everyone feeling all the weirder. It begs the question as to whether there was another argument. You have to remember that Prince Harry is, of course, Charles's dear boy. He loves him very much and must have been happy to see him. But it all went really bizarrely, especially for, and here's a point, and okay, it's an emergency, it's a difficult time, whatever, but this is a couple that has lectured us time and time about the environment, and not many people fly as far as LA to London and back in what was 24, or some are saying 26 hours in total in the UK. What some might overlook here is they know it's not that far from England to America, but that's as far as you can go from England to America is LA. Uh, you're basically doing the same trip twice. You're like doing almost double what you would do to go to New York. This is a long flight and, you know, I'm not some environmentalist or whatever, but they by all accounts are Harry and Meghan. Uh, and it's the kind of thing that I've heard them doing time and time again, while of course lecturing the rest of us about fuel and fossil fuels and things like that. And it's absolute madness. Of course, it was an emergency to come see his dad. I can't imagine what bigger emergency has led him back within 24 hours. Even when I, I go down to London to, to record my podcast on heretics, and I do feel bad because I'm leaving my fiance for some time. And she's from Argentina, so I have brought her over here. We live in a random city for the sake of anonymity and things. I don't want people following me and cults and things like that. Uh, and I've taken her away from her family and friends and things. Of course, she has her own life here now, but we haven't been here that long. So I feel bad when I go away. So I try to only go away for two or three days at a time, or if I go to London like once a month or something like that. If I'm you know, if, if for some gravely ill issue like this with Charles, and I'm flying, what is it, 14 hours, 12 hours to LA or LA to London, to come back within 26 hours is, is pretty bonkers. Now, Prince Harry has flown, this is the news, home to LA following a 26-hour visit to the UK that saw him reunite with his father for less than an hour after his shock cancer diagnosis. The Duke of Sussex spent almost as much time in the air as he did in England on what was his first visit to his homeland since September. The long journey from the US took Harry more than 10 hours, but his meeting with King Charles at Clarence House in London reportedly lasted less than one hour. Differing newspaper reports say the get-together at the royal residence was either just 30 or 45 minutes long. I mean, that is a long a long way to travel for 30 minutes or, or 40 minutes. And it also begs the question, you know, you can look at it two different ways. And I'm sure big fans of Harry will go, wow, look at the lengths he went to just to get 40 minutes with his dad. The rest of us might say, there's, there must be a reason it was only such a short time. Have you stuck your oar in again? Do you hate being in England that much. There were hopes the 39-year-old's visit from California would help repair damaged relationships between himself, his father, and his brother, the Prince of Wales. That's William. Um, but these hopes were soon dashed when it became clear he would not be seeing William during his trip. Now, of course, I did an episode just the other day, was it yesterday or the day before, um, with Kinsey Schofield, who's brilliant, wonderful royal commentator, where she was saying, look, all these people are talking about uh, reconciliation between William and Harry. That ain't going to happen. And she was absolutely right. And, she, you know, that's why she is a step ahead of the newspapers on many of these issues and why it's so great talking to her. She's really got her head screwed on with regards to the royals. Um, so the hopes were dashed. The reconciliation talk was, I mean, just absolutely royally torn apart. The, this idea of like, oh, maybe he'll be here for a few weeks or months and they'll start to get on again. Bloody hell, 40 minutes. Not enough time for reconciliation, is it? Charles had personally called both Harry and William as well as his siblings and the Duke of York and the Duke of Edinburgh to share his health news before it was publicly announced to the nation by the palace at 6pm on Monday. Less than a day after the news broke, Harry was spotted arriving at a private terminal in LAX in his black Range Rover on Monday evening LA time. His wife, Meghan Markle, and their two children, Prince Archie and Prince Lilibet, the name taken from the emotional name of the Queen. She didn't want a name given to Lilibet, but there you go. Remained in California, those, those you know, Meghan and the kids, where they've lived since stepping down as working royals in 2020, despite 
making use of the name of the Sussex for pretty much everything. Harry's flight took off just before 7pm LA time and the Duke flew more than 5,000 miles over the Atlantic before touching down at Heathrow Airport at 12.30 on Tuesday. He was driven directly to see his father at his London residence, arriving at Clarence House at 2.45 where the pair had a brief meeting. Clarence House is the much-loved London base of Charles and Camilla after the pair moved in 2003. It would appear there was nowhere there for Harry to stay, with reports that the king's younger son was booked into an undisclosed hotel in London instead of a royal residence. Maybe that's why he went home. Just couldn't bear being in a hotel that wasn't a palace. Less than an hour after Harry arrived at Clarence House, Charles and Queen Camilla were pictured being driven to Buckingham Palace where a helicopter, believed to be carrying the couple, took off from the roof and took them to their Sandringham Hotel, uh, Sandringham Home sorry, in Norfolk without Harry. Harry's next sighting came when he was spotted at Heathrow Airport at 1.30 on Wednesday, a day after he landed. And while it's not been confirmed which flight he boarded, British Airways 269 was due to take off at roughly 3pm and arrived at Los Angeles at 6.30. Although there has been talk that he actually moved his flight, he actually just bought another one uh, so that he could be uh, leave two hours earlier than he wanted to. That's what I'm hearing at the moment. Uh, people are talking about the meeting being very awkward, uh, the royal correspondent Jenny Bond, for example, she has said she has claimed the King's meeting with Prince Harry has left him feeling tired as the Duke of Sussex is already preparing to leave the UK. That was obviously when he was preparing to leave. King Charles met with his estranged son, Prince Harry, on Tuesday following the announcement of Charles's cancer diagnosis the, the, the day before. Charles obviously has been diagnosed with a form of cancer and is receiving treatment. We don't know exactly what it is. We know it was found during a routine operation or fairly routine operation uh, or to, to have a look at his prostate, but it is not thought to be prostate cancer. The Duke of Sussex, that's Harry, landed in the UK on Tuesday afternoon and was given a police escort to central London where he was reunited with his father in, in Clarence House. So that's what we know. But we are told that apparently it has been awkward. Jenny Bond said the meeting was uh, awkward, uh, in particular his reunion with Queen Camilla, who he had publicly criticised in his memoir, Spare. Bond also suggested, suggested that the in-person meeting may spark a possible reconciliation between the king and his youngest son. She said Charles was feeling quite tired, quite understandably, after his first round of whatever treatment he's having. We thought that meeting might have gone a little longer. I hope it was friendly, but we do not know it would have been quite an awkward meeting, really. Well, I, I would <clears throat> I would imagine that it absolutely was. Prince William has come out and thanked the nation for support, all the support they've got over uh, the, the King's cancer. That's the other news at the moment. He's thanking everyone for kind messages of support and says it means a great deal to them. Perhaps it does. Who, who knows what, that, what goes on in all of those minds and things. The point is he's gone straight back to Meghan. Now, what we don't necessarily know is, was it a brief meeting because Charles is just tired and fed up and whatever? Or is it that Harry has to get back to Meghan Markle, can't even leave her for five minutes? minutes can't leave her for one day back in Montecito so I don't know what do you think put a one if you think it was short because Charles was tired put a two if you think it was because he can't leave Megan put a three if you think it's both of those things it could be a mix and leave some comments in there what I will ask you to do as well is get some questions in put question in a capital whatever you call it what was your capital letters isn't it put that in the capital letters um, and I am going to, what am I going to do? Where is this? Yes, I'm going to show you. I've got a premiere on my other channel, Heretics, about, right, most of you would think, or I would think, there are too many people in the world, population problems, global warming, that stuff is a problem, right? But there are also not enough people in the world and we're all going to die. And that is what my latest episode is about. And it is critical of people suggesting all the time there are too many. There are not enough people in the world Um at the moment to support the older populations. So I've got a one minute trailer to show you, that's from, from Heretics, and then I'm gonna get back onto your questions. Children have slipped too low down the priority list. The cohort of the grandchildren is a third of the size of the parents, and that's a third of the size of the grandparents. So that's a society that goes into free fall. Elon Musk, he talks about it as the most important issue facing humanity. But if you look at the people on the, the, the one time heroes of the left, Stalin, Mao, Castro, they're all pronatalists. And mm. the left has suddenly decided, oh, to be pronatal is to be a fascist. Yeah. Uh, that shows no sense of history. But the woke left has decided uh, just to shut their eyes to that and say, if you're pronatalist, you must be far right. 
Am I a problem here? You're totally part of the problem. Yes. But good news is it's not too late. And if we're going to get over this hump, if we're going to solve the problem, children have got to go up the priority list. But now we've gone down to super low. So it's not just because we're all reasonably educated and it's not just because we're all reasonably wealthy and it's not just because most of us live in cities. Something more than that is happening. So that is a big episode that is out right now over on my other channel. Just go to Heretics. Just type in Andrew Gold Heretics and you'll find it over there. Uh, really fascinating insights into the world and what we're going to do and what's happening already in Japan and Korea and how the opposite is happening in Africa um, and what's happening in the UK and the US. It's just a, a really strange situation we're in right now. Um, let's see. Some reports are saying it was only a 12-minute meeting, says Jacqueline Johnson, uh, with Charles in total. Allegedly, it would be interesting to know if that's true or not. I mean, if it was a 12-minute meeting, you'd have thought this is because Charles is tired. You guys put a mixture of ones and twos and threes, so I think you think it's a mixture of having to get back from Megan and also maybe some awkwardness, maybe Charles being tired. I don't know. Uh, very, very difficult. Andy S says, Harry's room was carefully chosen to be just a little bit smaller than William's room. During dinner, his plate was just a little bit smaller, his chair a bit smaller. Poor Harry. God, I don't know about that. Uh, more people are saying about the 12 minutes. It is a bit of an awkward one if it was 12 minutes. Bloody hell. And that's that for now. Right, go over to my other channel, Heretics. Andrew Gold, Heretics. Oh, wait, what's this? Let's see what's saying. This is what a few people have said, actually. Becky Johnson is saying he sent out info, this is Harry, that he was going and called the Paps to make sure the news got out. He just showed up in London and wanted to stop by to see his dad, who was scheduled to leave town. It does seem like yet another PR disaster, doesn't it? Yet another one. 12 minutes, a night of passion for me, says Scott. Behave, all right? Uh <clears throat> DH says, we have Harry, you keep Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, who's been ingratiating himself with the Royals. There's more pictures of him meeting up with William. Do the Royals not think they might need to distance themselves from Scientology? I suppose the whole of Hollywood doesn't bother, and they're basically a bit of a, a Hollywood firm themselves, the Royals, aren't they? So I don't know. What's uh, Zephyr saying? Zephyr K9 says, I think Charles already had his schedule laid out, and it's not like it's easy to change things. Has been knows that, has looking for another reason to be resentful. Yeah, to sort of turn up. All oh, right, you're busy going to your cancer appointment, are you? Hmm. Well, I'm going to go back to America then. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Well, so there you go. Question. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know what that's a reference to, so no, I can't ask about that. Um, I'm, 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 don't know what people are talking about. Always good to see Ellie there, who's always shocked when I see who supports Tom Cruise. Absolutely right, Ellie, and good to see you here as well. Always nice to see Ellie, of course. Um, Gina says, Harry was advised, probably by Megan and their PR firm, to make... Sometimes I try to talk really fast to see how quickly I can read. Go on, do it along with me. Harry was advised probably by Meghan and their PR firm to make the impromptu trip. Harry knows that King Charles' schedule is always time down to the minute. Showing up unannounced was stupid. <laughs> I agree, Gina. I think so. Sorry I did that experimental talking fast over your question or your point, but I think it's actually a really good point. So there you go. Right. Go over, please, to Heretics. You're going to learn about the way we're all going to die quite soon because we're not having enough babies um, because of all sorts of mad, weird things going on. And you'll find that brand new episode. Of course, there are recent ones with Maggie Oliver about the Rochdale scandal. If you know what that is, it is mental what happened to those kids. Uh, and of course, uh, Kelly J. Keane, who uh, is very, very fervent in her anti-trans activism uh, spiel so those are three big episodes the one going out right now premiering right now is with um paul um paul oh fuck i don't want to get his name wrong just in case paul morland i know that paul morland and it is a really really interesting episode so go check that out over on heretics i'll put a little link below as well like this video too and stick around but don't just stick around go over to heretics as well and watch that episode